And welcome back to Mag Sam's Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. I'm Arm2K Mitty, and Deathtron Hammer's with me also. When will we fu- I'm pretty sure I made that joke. I'm the, when will we find the age? Wait, let's go back to- let's go back to the one guy with the sword that you need to pick up from. All the way back- no, not right now. <laughs> We're not uh, doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> that blacksmith can wait. Oh, yeah. We at long last have arrived. Yeah, I just wanted to be a jerk and just. Oh, hi. I cannot remember the last time we had visitors in the Maria. Not in a great while, certainly. More of the same today and every day. Nothing around here ever changes. In the Muria, we do not grow old. Must seem quite odd to those from the outside world. I've aged so slowly I no longer fear death. But at the same time, I have no mo motivation at all. Drinking from this spring restores vigor and vitality. Want a sip? Sure. Felix like and the others drank from the spring. Their HP and PP were fully replenished. So if any of your party members are down, they'll actually be revived by that water too. Oh, really? That's a neat, neat effect. As opposed to having a healer here. Yeah. The Mur Oh, it's your turn. The Muria has no disease, no war. Anywhere I saw it, I would think it a paradise. And yet, all who come to our city seek to leave soon after arriving. I, too, wish to leave. I haven't been surprised in ages. I don't know what I'd do if something happened. Wow, this is just a powder keg waiting to blow. Like, I think you'd honestly make these guys day if you just ran up and randomly stabbed someone. Whoa, yeah. that guy just stabbed Joe over there. You should test your luck at the spring of Lemuria? Yeah. Go ahead, test your luck. It's this game. It's from the. That's where. Sort of, Mabby set the same game up in Tolby. He ripped it off. Yeah. So I'll throw a lucky medal in. Ah. And the dragon. Oh, that's too. actually valuable. That's like 3,000. I know. Whoa. Ooh, yeah, this is the most valuable thing they have here. Felix can now summon Eclipse. Something words that you skipped. An um, Eclipse is, um... It's just another one of those combos where you have to have multiple elements summoned. m m, -m multi C combo You can also toss money in there. Big Scout Leader's bracelet. Even the bracelet that appears. Is that bracelet worth anything? I don't know. He came in to equip it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Toshiba. She doesn't need shoes, does she? Wait, isn't Toshiba Lemurian? Um. I don't know. She came from somewhere. Oh no, wait, she came from somewhere else. She came from. She but was adopted. He... But didn't Babby. Wasn't Babby using her to build his tower because she was a Lemuria or something? I think everyone in Lemuria is the same element, the water element. Yeah, the aquatic hair. So... Hesty up late. Man, it's been so long and the plot's been like, meh. 
meandering. Yeah. Thanatos Mace. The sheep of great miracles and there's that one time that worshipped her, but I think that was the big thing. That's what the I don't know. Sheba Sheba. Sheba. Yeah. Felix, look over here! This palace is magnificent! Huh, looks like a palace. This place is remarkable. Truly remarkable. Who goes there? I have not seen you in Lemuria before. Wait a moment. Oh, wait, what are you doing? You must be the travelers who arrived with peers. Is your name Felix, perchance? Yeah. Peers? You mean Peers the Lost One? I've earned a title in my absence. Well, worry not. Piers is lost no more. I seek counsel of King Hydros. Has His Highness been told of my return? Word has been said, but I do not know if it has reached the king. What do you mean? Lord Conservato is meeting with the, His Highness as we speak. Conservato? Not conservato. Conservato. What's wrong, Piers? I'm pleased to hear that name. Crane, what do you think of what you've seen of Lemuria? Magnificent city! Or do you mean the castle? Both are magnificent! And you, Felix, do you agree? I say no. Ah, uh, no. Ah, yes, you marvel not at its present condition, but its greater splendor in its past. Ages past, Lemuria was a far lovelier, more grand, and more lively city. His Highness the King tells of days gone by, more brilliant Lemuria long before my birth. Over the countless years our people have lost vigor, enthusiasm, creativity. Lemuria has fallen into a slow collapse, a city that has lost its spark. Lemuria as you see it is now a shadow of the city of legend. If only, <clears throat> if only I had the chance to see the city in all its splendor. But how does Conservato figure in? King Hydrus believes that our decay is related in some way to alchemy. Alchemy? King Hydrus wants to find a way to stop the ruin of Lemuria. If there's anything we could help do to help stop it, we would. But the Senators are unwilling to take action. They're stubborn, and they fear any change. Senate? What is a Senate? The Senate is a group of elders who determine the policy of Lemuria. Lord Conservato holds the highest office in the Senate. The Senate usually opposes any new ideas or proposals introduced before it. Word of our arrival will never reach the King as long as Conservato has his ear. His conversations with the king are incredibly long. We have no choice but to wait patiently here. So drink up. So why don't we spend our time looking around Lemuria until then? Uh, I guess I have no choice. Drink up. The king is holding council with Lord Conservator right now. It might be a while before you can see him. How much longer will Conservator be in there? They've been talking for ages now. Literally. 
The king will be thrilled to hear his trusted Pierce has returned. I had heard Pierce was back, but I didn't believe it until now. You seem much more covered, Pierce. Everyone has been noticing it. But drink the water. Only for the lower fountain. The dog pees in the upper fountain. <laughs> There are no shops in this town. No Lemurian weapons. Wait, are they afraid of you because you're an adept? And they're like, if you do anything, we'll hurt you, our vengeance will be swift. But none of these guys seem very, like, motivated. Or yeah! On the nose. We'll so take you down. Uh huh. Yeah, you and one army. We just took down Poseidon. Like,. Can you do that? No, I didn't think so. Like that tribal warlike culture we came across. I believe they'd go, you pulled something. Yeah, they're gonna fight you. But a stagnating culture and society where senators reject anything remotely different out of fear of change. Oh man, this is like our country. Oh yeah. There's so much treasure buried here. You could dig almost anywhere and find something. Why doesn't anyone here dig? Because then they don't care. Apathetic. So you scoop. Most of these butterflies. <laughs> just dog poop everywhere. My treasure. Felix got a bone. They say there's a junk item though, you can't really. See. Can't you give the bone to the dog? It's a delicious doggy treat. See? The dog won't take it though. What? So they like you dig up the dog's bone. It's just completely worthless. There's no um It just takes up space? Yeah. That's nah. Isn't that isn't that infuriating? Nah. Oh, I missed. Up one. Most of the butterflies mark a spot where there's something buried. Well, look, I can't tell you what a butterfly on the ground means, but I can tell you what a butterfly in the sky. Life never changes here in Lemuria. It can get rather dull, you'll find. Sometimes I think the buildings fall apart faster than we age. Isn't that kind of depressing? It's the downside of immortality. Well, especially if you live in one place perpetually. Like, you never leave your little town. Yeah. Like, if I was immortal, I'd be traveling constantly. It's been many years since a new child was born in Lemuria. Lemurians have children, but they only made children for such a short time. Everyone spoils me so much, I don't ever want to grow up. In another 20 or 30 years, I'll be an adult. Oh well. At least it's some kind of change. Tee hee. We're the only children in Lemuria! I often wish there were other children to play with. Are there other children in the lands beyond the Sea of Time? Are there other people? Tee hee. We are having fun. Tee hee. Tee hee hee. Oh, so the Senate. Let's go visit the Senators. Are you the warriors from beyond the sea of time who returned with peers? Yeah. What can you uncivilized lads hope to bring to Lemuria? Alchemy. Was that some form of synergy? Yeah. Ha ha ha! We Lemurians are masters of synergy all. Your powers are not special here. Killjoy. <laughs> Come what may, I cannot approve of anyone setting alchemy loose in the world. All the members of the Senate, all the members of the Senate must be, remain opposed to breaking the seal. As long as we remain united, King Hydros cannot take any action to complete his plan. Long ago, the powers of alchemy 
was abused in ways that might bring about the end of the world. Because it was the other way, the king claims, the world has begun to wither and decay. Ever since Alchemy was sealed, time itself has seemed frozen. In my mind's eye, I do not see anyone who will go along with the king's plan. And now, the rumors abound of a group of fools who are actually attempting to restore alchemy. It's only because the alchemy was sealed away and the world has enjoyed a lasting peace. If alchemy were loosed upon the world, the people might fight again to control the stones of the sages. Alchemy might not, must remain sealed away for no other reason than to avoid this strife. Has Lemuria fallen into decay, I ask you? Nay! Only by casting aside alchemy has the world been saved from itself. Certainly Maria has lost some of the splendor that once filled its streets. But to think that alchemy could restore this is madness itself. Also, us all senators, we must all look exactly like. Grow all our hair to the same uniform measure. Grow the same beards and wispy eyebrows. For we fear any type of difference and change. You seek to know more about the dra drafts <laughs> that provide us with such longevity? Uh, I didn't bring that up, but uh, sure. Once Lemurians bottled special drafts to leave here and travel throughout Weird, men named Babby stole the remainder of our precious drafts and fled Lemuria. We forgot how to make bottles. <laughs> Even though we no longer prepare the draft, the water of our springs still sustains us. I think that literally is what it is. They forgot how to make bottles. <laughs> You're like, uh, how do we do? Oh. Babby. How old am I again? I quit counting after I turned 200. <laughs> that was long ago. King Hydras is far older even than I am. How old is he? I think this one. I already got the lucky coin there. There he is. Um, one more coin for good luck. Gambling is addictive. Crafting gloves. what they're gonna give me this time. Another sword. I already have one of these. Hestia blade. Another Hestia blade! I'll just toss my last coin in. Whoa. Another Lita's bracelet. Lita had multiple bracelets. Well, you have two arms. And you also have two arms to hold two swords. Who the hell's Lita? I doubt the Lemurians could answer because they probably forgot whoever she was. Because they're out of it. Yeah. I wish there was a shop here I could ditch some of my items in, like, I'm full almost. I told you should have gone back to that blacksmith. Go ditch the game ticket. <laughs> that was the one item that could have, like, saved the world somehow. Yeah, I need the item for whatever reason. No one in Lemuria feels any passion for anything. They're lazier than a cat in a sunbeam. I'm not gonna dig up some graves, I'm not that low. I'm not that low. Uh, 
it's a side area over here that I need to get to. I don't need to get here, it's just cool. Oh yeah, there's a little new Marion. But for the people in this castle, the Lemurians would probably let themselves starve to death. Yes, they would. Because they don't give a crap. Oh man, cool, I'm dying. Wonder what this so this is starvation, huh? If we gave that rusty sword to the blacksmith, we'd be like, oh man! Yep, you could even turn that into the blacksmith. Oh! Oh! You! Boo! The millions are lazy. They, they can't make me look for a dynamo. No. Oh, wait, sorry. The moons are so lazy that they make me look like a dynamo. Wow, I misread that. That <laughs> they made me look for I was wondering, the moons making a cow look for a dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> Crank that generates electricity. Yeah. Hey, cow, go look for a dynamo. Okay. I want to power my battery powered radio. The crank. Oh, I got a hard nut. You're a hard nut to crack. Hey cow! Go look for that dynamo over there. <laughs> I know you understand my language. You're a 300 year old cow, you've learned English by now. <laughs> Just do it! I don't care how long it takes, I'm in no rush! 100 years later. Hey cow, have you found that dynamo yet? <laughs> Someone's been partying. No, it's not. You want to play him or you want me to do it? What's your preference? Um, you. <laughs> Are you the travelers that came here with Piers? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry it's taken us, taken me so long to visit, Uncle. Piers! You are alive! Yes, I've managed to survive against a great many trials. A fascinating coincidence. He's tunneled across me his uncle's house. Yeah. I must thank you all for looking after my nephew. Yeah. This is Felix and Creighton. They're my friends, and they've aided me tremendously. My sister can only hear how timid young Piers has become a mighty warrior. Even though everyone hears immortal something. Like Where's my mother? I've been so busy since we arrived that I haven't had a chance to see her. Now that I think about it, this place is a mess. What happened? Mother's always so neat. No, she hasn't fallen ill again, has she? There's still, <clears throat> there's still illness in Lemuria. My mother was born with a weak heart. Piers, I'm sorry. Your return comes to me. After the tidal wave, wa tidal wave washed you to sea, your mother suddenly fell ill. The shock of losing you was too great for her poor heart. She held out hope for your safe return to the very end. Perhaps your mother gave herself up to ensure your survival. Does that not sound like your mother? 
Where is she now? She rests in the cemetery now. Check the headstones. You will find her. What should we do? <clears throat> what should we do, Felix? We follow Pierce. Yeah. After all we've been through, the least we can do is offer Pierce our condolences. I am so relieved that Pierce has returned to me alive. He is the last of my relatives. Without him, I would be alone. <clears throat> Poor Pierce. Being born in Luria, gifted with long life. Only to lose his father in his youth and his mother now. He faces many long years of loneliness. I ask that you leave Piers to his mourning for now. Now he is struggling with the loss of his mother. He needs time. You came to Lemuria to learn more of alchemy, did you not? Yeah. I suspect as much. Piers was right to bring you here. Piers told me his secret. The mission he was given by His Highness, the King. Even had the tidal wave not carried Piers off, he would have left us. Such was his fate. <clears throat> you look confused. Piers told you about this, did he not? No. Curious. I can't understand why he would do that. If Lord Conservado had not led the Senate to oppose him, he would have left sooner. Oh, what news Pierce has brought with him. Either way, I do know why he has brought you here. Why? Felix, don't tell me that he hasn't at least told you that much. No. Did Pierce tell you nothing before bringing you here to the No. No. Unfortunately, I know a little more than that. While Pierce confronts his sorrow over the loss of his mother, you have some time. I shall write you a letter. So you can see Lunpa. Lunpa has locked himself in his tower and rarely comes out. But if I send him this, he will see you. All I need is a bird to carry it to him in his tower. Go, little birdie. There. You should be able to see him now. Go to Lumpa's tower. He will see you. Lumpa has given the king tremendous aid on this matter. You will have much to tell him. Isn't Lumpa the middle of that thief family? There's... Close. So I recognize the name, there's like... There's the grandfather? Lumpa, and... Dompa, and Dodompa. <clears throat> <coughs> and yeah, I know the grandfather was alive. It was the father that was missing, I think, or... Are you the kids, Piers... Are you Piers... Kids, Piers Traveling... Are you kids, Piers Traveling Companions? The door's broken, I'm afraid. But I opened up that window just above the door. Sorry about this, but you'll have to climb in through there. If I didn't know better, I'd say he's almost testing you. Door's broken. Figure your way up. Go to the top, but he's not here. <laughs> hmm. Thought the design was kind of weird here. Yeah. So th this is apparently the stairs down. 
Honestly, I'm amazed that anyone can travel the, the, so far across the world in this age. Say, Piers, Piers isn't with you. Er, why not? His mother has passed away. He's gone to visit her grave. Of course, his mother. He loved her dearly. Terrible loss. It must have been hard on him. Well, Piers may, may not be here, but we still have much to discuss. If Piers brought you, then you must be working to break the seal on alchemy, right? Uh, yeah. Ah, Piers has done quite well in finding you. What mission? Get the good King Hydras and assign to Piers. What? Piers has told you nothing of his mission? Really? No. You actually don't have nothing at all to do with alchemy? Our parents were kidnapped by the Fire Clan far to the north. They're only f firing the lighthouse beacons to give them their freedom. Oh! But okay! At no point <laughs> hitherto was this mentioned until now! When were their parents kidnapped? D their parents weren't kidnapped. You went back to the village and talked to them. They were fine. Yeah! But who the hell's the Fire Clan? Your village is the Fire Clan. You have the fire adepts and... <coughs> what the... Wait! That makes no sense. What? Did they forget the plot to their own game? <laughs> well, I think they realized wait, we have no motivation for our main characters here. These Wait. two are supposed to be kidnapped. Felix kidnapped them along with Alex, but now they're just going along with it. And and Creighton was technically kidnapped too, but now they're going along. Extreme Stockholm syndrome. I don't know. This is weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. King Hydra has told me that the Venus and Mercury, that Venus and Mercury have been ignited once again. Was that your doing? Yep. I'm afraid I know nothing of the Northern Fire Clan, neither do we. <laughs> that doesn't explain you, sir. You are clearly not related to these two. What's your goal? The two of them... <sighs> Crane joined us on this quest on behalf of Lord Babby of Tolby. Babby? I only know one man named Babby, but it couldn't... Master Lanpa. The Babu speak of is the same man you knew long ago. Ah, so he's still out there, living in the outside world? Yeah, yeah. Well, that might not be the most accurate way of putting it. Sorry, I was trying to clear my throat there. Most accurate? My, you certainly have an odd way of turning a phrase. He was living, yes. Well, recently, that is. So that Babby passed away, but only recently, you say? He finally ran out of his mystic drafts. His spirit began to wane. Then, I no longer know anyone outside in the world outside. But aren't you Lumpa, the righteous thief? I was called that long once long, long ago. Why do you ask? I bet there's at least one person in the outside world whom you still know. And who would that be? A town called Lumpa in the northern Angara. man there named Dampa lives there. I settled that village, and Dampa, he's my son. Now your grandson, Dampa. Rules over your village. Rules? Rules is an ill-sounding word. But it's an accurate one. Lumpa... In Lumpa? Dodampa is an evil thief who has caused much trouble in Angara. What has become of <coughs> my son? How could he permit such a thing to happen? Master Lumpa... Don't you have any idea how old Dampa is? He's as old as I am. An old man. Maybe older even than I. 
If this news outrages you, why don't you go and set Dodampa straight? Only I could. Is this the only reason we're here? To bring news to the outside world? No. Yes, yes, I'm sorry we are sidetracked. We have much more to discuss. But before we begin, there is one thing I must say. <clears throat> you don't mind, do you, Felix? No, I don't mind. I knew you'd agree. I have discussed this with none but Felix. But I have my own reasons for this quest. I keep saying that, but I don't remember you ever talking to me about this. What do you mean? Only that I have my own reasons for wanting to see this be the beacons lit again. Why are you telling us all this now? Because I feel this quest is deeply linked to Lemuria. <coughs> I thought it odd that Lord Babby should order me to research alchemy. Hey, wait a minute. Is this what you promised to tell us once we reach Lemuria? Yes, yes, may I continue? Long ago, before alchemy's power was sealed, there were many civilizations as advanced and cultivated as Lemuria. At the moment that alchemy was sealed away, most of those civilizations began to wane. Until eventually, they vanished. I have formed certain theories now, suggesting that this may be related to the seal on alchemy. So let me get this straight. You felt you couldn't tell us this until we were in Lemuria. I only wanted to come to Lemuria to test your theories and see if they were true. Even if everything you said is true, what does it all mean? If your theories are correct, the world itself will wane and vanish, won't it, Creighton? Piers never spoke of this to you, did he? You came up with this theory on your own. You are in indeed a wise scholar. We would do well to trust you. What do you mean? King Hydros and I, as well as the others in the Moria, hold the same beliefs that you do, Creighton. You do? Civilizations thrive by building on knowledge of the past. Knowledge gained in one generation should be taken even further by the next. Thus, knowledge and learning continue to grow. This is the natural course of civilization. But where is it in the world today? All the great civilizations of old have all withered and vanished, and we're all isolated and alone. You've encountered many cultures in your travels. Are any of them capable of building the same sanctums and lighthouses that you've seen? No. No, they are not. This is not the only sign that the decay that you theorized. I think it's best that you hear the rest directly from His Majesty King Hydros. Yes, Graydon, we shall go to visit the King. Ah, the King Hydros is in council with Lord Conservator. We might not be allowed in. Conservator? That fool! He refuses to acknowledge what he can see with his own eyes. I will meet with this king and press our evidence upon Conservator. Come with me. Ah, stupid door. Ah, ah, ah. ah last year open. To the king's chambers. Lumpo ought to be as old as Lord Babby was. But he has so much energy. He's got fire in him. I do wish I could have heard more about Lord Babby, though. But come, Felix. To the king's palace we go. 
You know, I wasn't even there to see him pass away. I was off with Felix while Isaac was talking to him and sent him off on his quest, so I don't really understand. At which point did I start randomly assuming that he passed away, even though when I last saw him he still had, like, the last thing. Because yeah. Alex told you that he passed away. Oh. I don't know why you believe Alex. I mean, I guess he could be telling the truth. <clears throat> He sounded like he told it to you just to be a dick, like, right? Oh, by the way, your mentor died. So you have no reason to be on this mission anymore, so go do my bidding. <laughs> anyway, that's about all the time we have for this episode. Join us next time when we go and have a meeting with the king. Have a wonderful night. Stay beautiful, people. That voice also had a piece of mucus went up in here, so I was like, oh. It just wouldn't leave.